Hello to all of you on this Monday evening. I hope you're all very well and that you've had a really great Monday. Thank you for coming back. So yesterday night, Sunday night, we went to see Going In Style. I'm seeing an overdrawn balance in your daily checking. Yeah, my mortgage payment tripled. I've disclosed the possibility of a rate hike during your refi. Do you remember that? Everyone on the ground, now! The three men walked off with $1.6 million. They choreographed it like a dance. A conga line right in the prison. They didn't get caught. Ain't got no money. Semtex Steel has frozen all pension payments. I'm thinking of robbing a bank. I'm thinking about buying a Ferrari. I just got drafted by the Knicks. Could we ferry about it, huh? I don't know you a Williamsburg Savings will manage the liquidation of the fund. These banks practically destroyed this country, and nothing ever happened to them. I want to rob that bank. Let's go get our money back. Yeah. So the storyline of uh, going in style is, is pretty simple. It's like three old men. They just want to get some kind of revenge on their old workplace, which has just screwed them over their pensions. And this old company used to work with now put their money into this bank, and it's just like they basically want to go and rob this bank to get their money back. So they're not robbing the bank just purely to rob the bank. They're robbing the bank to, to get even. You know, if you've seen it already, I mean, the trailer might have excited you. I, I saw the trailer and I thought it, it does. It looks, it looks really good. It looks really funny. I think I described it as like as a Point Break meets Driving Miss Daisy, and it's like it is. It's really awesome. I think that's. I think that's what's so appealing to it. You just feel so sorry for these old fellas, and their stories told in this really like amusing way, so, which makes you really love these guys. And the performances are all pulled off by really, really, really good actors. And like we said when we walked out, that we said you are just you're rooting for these guys because. You like, you really like him. I think my favourite was Michael Caine because he kept coming in with his typical signature things like bloody this and bloody that. But each of the three actors were really good. Um, and Margaret's in there as well, she's really good. And there's obviously some like supporting actors in there who are just as funny, like the, the security guards and uh, Matt Dillon as the police officer. I mean, everyone, every one of them is very good. I guess from that I would say that Zach Braff did a really good job of directing it. And um, I even think he's, he's done a really good well on like the way he shot it as well. He shot it very... The film, the film was very old school, and I think he shot it very old school as well. It's got a very, very old school style of shooting. I think the whole film is very, very old school. It's an old school comedy, it's an old school heist movie, it's an old school cast. It's, it's, it was a very old school, very old fashioned. It was a heist with a heart, that's what it was. I mean, the scenes, the scenes and the performances were all very, they're very, like, they're very touching, and this is one scene between uh, Michael Caine and Morgan Freeman the night before the robbery, and they're just, they're just sitting there just like, it's, I don't know, it was, it was something about it, it was just like you really felt like they they were nervous and it's like but they didn't really it was a, it was a really it's just a really good scene, I really can't describe it. It's just it was just really it was very minimal but it was it was powerful. I think that by this point you're really with them thinking, oh, okay, you know, you don't really know if you want to do this or not, you know it's a bad thing to do, it's like but anyway they go through with it, but uh, but I think even after they go through it you're still like even up till the end you're just like left you just you're still on the edge of your seat wondering if they're going to get caught or not it's, it doesn't really stop after the bank robbery for the scenes that really stood out i would say the, the bit where they just tried to have their first they had their first attempt on this little uh, supermarket they just robbed it and i thought it looked funny from the trailer but it's actually funnier when you go and see the film so yeah for that reason i would say go and see it because the trailer was funny but what happens in the trailer in the film is even funnier so if you there, there was the cinema was like, there was people laughing in the cinema all the way through it and I, yeah, there's a lady behind me, she was proper enjoying it, she was. But yeah, it just, I, I just, I think if you want a nice little feel good movie, if you want a little break away from all this CGI stuff and animated stuff and all this, all this half term stuff that's out there now, then I would say go and see this one because it is, it's a really good film. But I do have a feeling it probably won't be on screen for very long though, so you better hurry up and go and see it. You better hurry up and bloody go see it. Ladies and gentlemen. What are you chasing me for? Don't make me tease you. This is not an admission of guilt. I am just tired. Don't stop me. So that is going in style. It's still out at Odeon Cinemas. If you saw it already, do let me know what you thought about it. Just drop a comment. I don't know, give me a phone call. Send a pigeon carrier. And while I'm waiting for your pigeon, I'll be back tomorrow. So see you then.